Yeah, I don't know why I didn't um, think about this game when I was uh, just hankering to play basically just a quick and, you know, a quick and dirty Hex Encounter game. I was like, goodness gracious, just bring it up and uh, set it up because, oh God, well, this is the very first game that I ever um, purchased. I got this from Phantom 2 the very first time I actually went to Phantom 2. That's my very, this is, this is the actual one. Uh, this is another copy of it. Um, came in the box, the plastic, whatever. And there's my very first CRT and train effects chart thing in a jig. Oh my gosh. And this is, these are fan uh, made counters. So I'll try to find the, uh, the well, you, actually the link, the guy, uh, it's a dead link now. And those are my very first counters I probably made like, oh my gosh, maybe, geez, uh, well over 10 years ago. That's, that's for sure. And this is like a screwed up print of, uh, uh, yet again, someone did a, a, I think a fan, it could be off the Steve Jackson thing of the jig, I don't know. But the neat thing is, I'm not going to get into the full on, I'll talk about it later, maybe when I uh, do some kind of pseudo playthrough or something, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, but the thing is, is that this game is set in like the late 21st century, and there's like small, ta uh, like, you know, tactical nuclear weapons going off, uh, there's... Oh, the you know the whole planet is well, it seems like a, a horrible place to uh, doesn't seem like a very nice place and um, the um, the United States seems to have taken over um, all of uh, the the Americas and turned it into like the con well maybe not uh, down in uh, South America but at least Canada and whatnot are now like uh, the North American Combine and then there's the Pan Europeans these are the Pan Europeans here and. Uh, these guys are, and I know it's G E V or Gev. I call it Jev, so I'm sorry. That's what you're going to hear from now on in is just Jev. Um, this is I'm just setting up the very first scenario. I think I probably played, um, and I would love to play this against somebody. Um, this one is the breakthrough, and um, in it, uh, basically, uh, well, it says here, the breakthrough scenarios represent an, represent an attempt to penetrate a defensive perimeter in order to strike at a weakly defended rear area. Anyways, uh, you're allowed, the defending pan-European player is allowed to get uh, 20 strength points of in infantry, which I got over there, and six armored units. And in this game, um, light tanks are considered one half of an armored unit. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it now. Oh, I've wanted to play this. I've never played this against another human being, uh, this tactic or this strategy or whatever. And this is called, I call it my light tank uh, strategy. I've got the little one here. Where's my little printout? I've got, oh my God, for years and years and years ago. Shows you how, like, my little strategy of um, how I would go about uh, nailing you. Uh, basically, the objective is, is that... Um, the combine player here with the 12 jevs is trying to get across to the north, uh, north as many uh, jevs across as they can, and the pan European player is trying to stop them. And uh, these things move like the wind, and they also get a double movement. Um, you can see there the M43 at the top right there. So they get they can move four, fire, and then move three. It's like so you got to really be careful. I mean. Um, Anyways, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but here's the kicker. I was like, you know what? Put this game out because Rob's coming over soon, and I know, look, uh, I'm trying to, co uh, maybe I'll coax him into playing it, and I'll go, hey, Rob, this is, a, as you can see, a fairly simple game to set up. It's, the rules are just, I mean, my God, I figured this out. Well, I shouldn't say figured it out, but I, like, just, oh, my God, I was so immersed into this. I don't know, I was at grade 7, so I don't know what that, year 14 or 12 or 13, 14, something like that. Um, excuse me. And I'm also going to try to kind of give them a hint like, boy, this has got that kind of tactical stuff that uh, is very conducive for you for kicking my ass, Rob. So maybe that'll also entice him to wanting to play. Also, yet again, I'm so confident with this strategy or tactic that I would even go up against someone like Meandering Mike with his uh, CRT whatevers. Um, and I would even, well, yeah, I would. Go for it. Uh, bring it on. Mind you, I do know that, uh, well, Charles Latour for sure has a, a Ogre, but I pretty darn she's got this as well. And I know uh, Charles Latour said he would be um, gentle 
on me if uh, if he realized that uh, I was a little, you know, I could just like a kitten against the lion or whatever. But um, yeah, I'd go up against him. Anyways, this is like a super simple. We could play this play by email or something ridiculous. I mean, it is. Come on, let's do something crazy. Okay, hope you're having a good time. Bye.